Hello for Lover and welcome to Mia Treasures of Samoa where we amplify Samoan culture. Today on our YouTube channel we're going to be discussing why Samoans are so fat. Do you know why? Keep watching to find out. <laughs> All Samoans are big or all Samoans are fat and in fact the research and statistics actually tell us that Samoans are some of the most obese people in the world today. This is actually a very very sensitive stereotype to me. So I once dated a man who at the time was living in Samoa and Almost every other conversation that he had with me was talking about how fat some ones were, how much they ate, and just pretty much went on and on about the fat some one stereotype. And it, it annoyed the heck out of me. So why is this Palangi man coming to our country, making a living, and then making fun of us and our weight. And so today's video is addressing that stereotype. And that stereotype is that all Samoans are fat. There is a long and a short answer to the question of why Samoans are fat. The short answer is Samoans are fat because of colonizers and colonization in our islands. Yes, that does sound like a bit of a car cloud. And why are we blaming people and things that happened hundreds of years ago? This is why you need to know your history and why it affects you today. Before colonizers came to Samoa, Samoans lived off the land. So yes, there's taro, yes, there's coconut, yes, there were vegetables. We also only just ate fish and sometimes even chicken. So not only did we eat off the land, we also worked the land. We knew that in order for us to eat, we needed to work on the land to make our food. This made us fit, this made us healthy. We lived pretty much eating an organic diet and exercising daily. So Samoans historically, before colonizers came to Samoa, were fit and healthy. There was no gout, there was no diabetes, there was no high blood pressure, and there was very, very little obesity. So Historically, Samoans were fit and healthy, not fat and obese. That was not who we were. This came after colonizers arrived in Samoa. Then colonizers came to Samoa. And what did colonizers bring with them? They brought with them the meat cuts that they didn't want to eat, the food that they didn't want to eat, all of the stuff that they couldn't pawn off to their own people, they brought to Samoa and said it was good for us. So this is how we got the muli pipi. Yes, in Samoa we actually eat turkey tails. It's actually quite tasty, but full of fat. This is how we got mamoi. Now we're not talking about the good rib guards or the shoulders or the legs. We're talking the fattest pieces of lamb. So we also had lamb necks. Um, I actually really, really love lamb neck soup. So don't knock it. Lamb necks are really nice in soup. Just don't eat it every day. Um, this is also how we got peaceable. Meat in a can. 
full of fat. Salt, awesome for our health. <laughs> this is how we got processed food. Bread, butter, donuts, cakes, chocolate. This is how we got packaged food. Side mini, soft drinks, chips. These are all foods that were brought over by colonizers and that were we were told were good for us. It also caused diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, kidney issues, you name it, obesity. Colonizers gave this to us and we accepted it and took it on. Yay us. So the colonial mindset did not stop in Samoa. When we as Samoans moved outside of Samoa, we took this mindset with us. We believed that processed food and making life easier for us were a way of development. It was how we forged our path in a foreign land and showed them that we were a part of who they were. When in fact, we should have been taking with us the knowledge of our ancestors, that working our land, being self-reliant are actually more important and will help us be healthy and strong in the future. And it are these ancient knowledge of our forefathers that Westerners are now promoting to their own people to eat a more organic lifestyle, to get out and more, do more exercise, to be more self-reliant. These are all aspects that Westerners have taken from our ancestors and are now teaching to their own people because our ancestral knowledge is actually really quite valuable. So the long answer is that for generations, our people were told that modern ways were best for us and that these have, and that using these habits have led to us actually trying to achieve the Western dream to the detriment of our health. Yes, we have a choice. Everyone has a choice as to what they eat and what they do. But when, you're, when you've had thoughts hammered into your mind on a daily that things are supposed to be a certain way, changing that mindset is going to take a long time. Bringing back the value of our traditional knowledge is going to mean we have to undo everything that the colonizers have told us and reset everything so that we understand that no, actually our ancestors had it right we need to be following them and what they had to say. To bring back the value in traditional knowledge is going to take time, but there's no better time to start than today. So tell me in the comments how you're going to bring more value to someone traditional knowledge in your home. So if you've learned something in today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you really want to support Mercina in bringing you more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. There are links in the description of courses that can help you connect to Samoan culture, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for supporting us here at Mercina. Tofasu for goodbye.